on the paper i have mentioned two series two numbers ranges one is one range is 58 to 69 okay they are all in the sequence but what i have done is after every two addition numbers i have put one subtraction number okay so after every third number is a subtraction number here as you can see on the paper okay so there are 12 numbers in a series in uh, each sum i have written down two different series and deliberately taken numbers in the range of between 50 to 90 these are the kind of numbers where students make the maximum mistakes okay so the i have de deliberately put these numbers here in the uh, range here so i will be demonstrating one uh, range today in this video and another uh, range i'll be demo demonstrating in another video let's start with the first range now Okay, the first number is 58, we can take it directly. The next number to add is 59. Okay, so for adding 5 here, I will be using the big friend formula of 5, which is minus 5 plus 10. And to add 9 on the units place, I will be doing minus 1 plus 10, which is again its big friend formula. Then the next number is minus 60. To subtract 60 here, I need to subtract 6 on the tens place. To subtract 6 on the tens place, what I need to do is to add 4 and subtract 10 on the next left rod. To add 4 on this rod, I don't have enough beads to add 4 directly. Hence, I will have to use the combination formula where the addition of 4 will be done using its small friend formula. Okay, so plus 5 minus 1 and this takes care of the plus 4 or addition of 4 part and then combine it with minus 10 on the next left rod and the subtraction of 6 on the tens place is done. So the number subtract uh, 60 is subtracted now. The next number to add is 61. To add 61, I'll start with the tens place. To add 6 on this rod, the formula is minus 4 plus 10, but I cannot do minus 4 here directly. Hence, I'll have to use a combination formula again, which is plus 1 minus 5 and plus 10. Okay, so plus 1 minus 5 takes care of the minus 4 part and then plus 10 finishes the addition of 6 on the tens place. Now coming to units place, I need to add 1. So 1 can be added directly. The next number to add is 62. To add 62, I can add 6 on the tens place directly. I have enough beads. On the units place, I need to add 2. To, for addition of 2, I don't have enough beads here. I don't have the bead of 5 available, so small friend cannot be used. Hence, I'll be using the big friend of 2, which is minus 8 plus 10. The, now, next number is subtraction of 63. For subtracting 63, I'll start with the tens place. I can subtract 6 on the tens place directly. I have enough beads. Coming to the units place, I need to subtract 3 here. To subtract 3, I will have to use the big friend formula as we don't have enough beads here and uh, the 5 bead is also not available for subtraction. Hence, we'll use the big friend of uh, minus 3 which is plus 7 minus 10. Okay, so minus 63 is done. Coming to the next number, which is addition of 64. On the tens place, we can add 6 directly. On the units place to add 4, I will have to use the big friend formula since the 5 has already been used. So minus 6 plus 10 and the addition of 64 is done. Coming to the next number, it is addition of 65. Starting with the tens place, again here, the, I will have to use the combination formula as we cannot do minus 4 plus 10 directly. So the combination formula for 6 is plus 1 minus 5 plus 10. So addition of 6 on the tens place is done. On the units place, I need to add 5 which can be done directly. So addition of 65 is done. Next number is subtraction of 66. For subtracting 66, I need to subtract 6 from both the rods. So starting with the tens place, to do minus 6 here, I will have to use the combination formula of minus 6, which is plus 4 minus 10, but plus 4 has to be done using its small friend formula, which is plus 5 minus 1, and then subtracting 10 on the next left rod finishes the subtraction of 6 on the tens place. Coming to the units place, I need to subtract 6 here as well, which can be done directly. Okay, so subtraction of 66 is done. The next number is addition of 67. 
for adding 67 i'll start with the tens place again to add 6 here we cannot do minus 4 plus 10 directly hence we'll have to use the combination formula of plus 6 which is plus 1 minus 5 plus 10 and on the units place we need to add 7 so we can do it directly so addition of 67 is done the next number is addition of 68 for adding 68 i'll start with the tens place again to add 6 here now we can do minus 4 plus 10 directly okay we have 4 bits here so minus 4 plus 10 addition of 6 on the tens place is done on the units place i need to add 8 hence i'll do use the big friend formula of 8 which is minus 2 plus 10 and addition of 68 is over now the last number to be subtracted is 69 so to minus starting minus 69 from the tens place i need to do minus 6 on the tens place here i cannot add plus 4 here directly hence i'll use the combination formula of minus 6 which is plus 4 using the small friend formula so plus 4 in this fashion and doing minus 10 on the next left rod finishes the subtraction of 6 on the tens place on the units place i need to subtract 9 hence the big friend formula of minus 9 is plus 1 minus 10 so i'll do plus 1 here and minus 10 on the next left rod will have to be done using the small friend formula of minus 1 since we don't have one bead available to subtract here we will use the small friend formula of minus 1 as we have the bead of 5 available so we'll do plus 4 minus 5 so for subtracting the last 9 what we did was we added 1 here and for doing minus 10 on the next left rod we used the small friend formula of minus 1 which is plus 4 minus 5. So the subtraction of 69 is also done. The final answer we have after adding and subtracting all these numbers. These are 12 numbers in all where every third number was a subtraction 1 and the final answer that we have is 246. Okay, so I hope uh, this procedure was understood by everyone. I would request uh, or suggest every parent to ensure that the kid watches this video a couple of times and then he should try doing it on his own. Okay, he should pause the video whenever he wants and he should try doing the entire sum on his own. Whenever he finds a particular uh, number or formula to, uh, difficult, he can just watch that portion again and try doing it again. But at the end, he should be able to do the entire sum on his own without having to look at the video once more.